find the LCM of 39, 52 and 65. To find the LCM, first we should frame it in this way. C. That is 39, 52 and 65. Okay, next. Now we should focus on to the first number that is 39. For this number last digit is 9 which is not even so this number is not divisible by 2. Next to prime number is 3. To check divisibility by 3 for that we should add the digits that is 3 plus 9 we get 12. Is 12 divisible by 3? Yes. So this number also divisible by 3 and I take 3 here. Now first number is 3. When do we get 3 in 3 table? 3 once 3. Next number is 9. When do we get 9 in 3 table? 3 3 is 9. Now the other number is 52. To check whether this is divisible by 3 or not. For that we add the digits. That is 5 plus 2, we get 7. 7 is not divisible by 3, so this number also not divisible by 3. So you write down this number as it is. Now the other number is 65. 6 plus 5 is 11. 11 not divisible by 3, so this number also not divisible by 3, so you write down as it is. Okay. Now here we have 13. 13 is a prime number, so we take 13 once 13. The other number is 52. When do we get 52 in 13 table? See man, 13 fourths 52. Next number is 65. When do we get 65 in 13 table? 13 fives 65. Now here we got 1. So now you focus on to the other number that is 4. 4 is nothing but 2 2 is 4. The other number 5 is not divisible by 2 so you write down as it is. Now here we have 2 2 is a prime number so we take 2 once 2. The other number 5 is not divisible by 2 so you write down as it is. Now here we got 1 here also 1 so focus on to the next number that is 5. 5 is a prime number so we take 5 once 5. Now we got 1 in all the 3 places. So now our LCM is. LCM is the product of these numbers. That is this. C. 3 into 13 into 2 into 2 into 5. You multiply all these numbers. Whatever number you get, that is your LCM. Okay. So let us multiply. So 5 into 2, 10. 10 into 2, 20. 20 into 13. 13 into 26 or 260. 260 into 3. 3618 32617. So we get 780. This is our LCM. Am I clear?